what's up guys how you feeling today hopefully you are right so today I'm gonna talk to you about uh, me making that shift of my brain to buying fast fashion to buying more slow fashion and just going crazy I was really going crazy for a while and I love to shop and it doesn't mean that I have to stop shopping it's just now I'm more conscious of what I buy and I want things to last longer so first things first like so slow fashion is like I feel like trendy items things that were put together not thought of um, not well made let's just say that well constructed so um, slow fashion is things that's gonna last for a long time um, things that I'm interested in um, is longevity and I want things that's gonna be here for a while that I'm gonna have so I'm really guilty of that I used to just buy things like oh okay this looks like leather so I'm gonna buy it and in all actuality in the long run years later it was some boots that I really loved I don't know if anybody remembers bare feet but bare feet I used to go on South Street and I bought these boots and I love them fake leather but like I feel like a year or two years later they started it started ripping and started falling apart um, and I was just like no why why so I'm probably gonna insert some clips of some things that I found the thing that saved me the most was um, the thrift store I really found some good quality pieces like um, just investing in some like leather and you don't always have to spend so much so if you go to the thrift store then you're good if you find like if you find something leather then you're good um, I found this nice leather um, long jacket or maybe trench coat or something like that so I feel like I'm okay for the fall um, I really love the fall I'm a lover of jackets and coats my girl Val says I have a coat and she's sending me something right now she, she says I have a jacket or a coat for every day of the month, but I really don't. Um, and right now, um, I was doing the same thing. Oh, this looks like leather, so I'm going to buy this looking like leather coat. And then it starts to peel, it starts to rip, and that's not cute. So um, I really want things that I love. Yesterday, I did this massive purge on clothes that I just no longer wear or just I just don't love so now I'm in a habit as you can see I do have things back here um and I'm just trying to reorder redo my closet it's a lot of things in here that I don't wear um and the closet just goes a little higher up too but there's a lot of things that I don't wear and I'm just to the point now where I'm just like no more no more of holding on to these pieces that I don't wear um, things that don't fit things that's too small things that no longer serve me I'm done with that so now I'm trying to buy things that I love that I'm going to absolutely wear over and over I think I used to buy I'm just lazy I used to be really lazy let's buy a lot of clothes so so Jess doesn't have to go to the laundromat or Jess doesn't have to go wash clothes I, I used to have to go to the laundromat um, when I was like years ago when I was younger but got a washer and dryer and I had one for years and I still had the same mindset just buy more things so you don't have to worry about washing clothes it's lazy um, but also I used to just buy things and wear it at that that certain day and I'm just like all right I'm not gonna wear this again for like a month so I had so many things or I'm not gonna wear this nobody's gonna see me in this for another two months because I would just buy so many clothes and I don't know where that thought came from like but that is a horrible thought that I had horrible horrible so now I do want to re-wear the stuff that's the point of me buying things so I can re-wear it and I can just mix it up and wear it 
in different ways if that makes sense i know i'm just babbling right now but i just wanted to uh make this video of just being more conscious of now i'm trying to be more intentional of the things that i buy um the quality so i'm looking for like pieces like that has wool pieces that um leather 100% leather so i just i uh if you don't know about thread up thread up is really good um so you can find clothes it's like an online thrift store so right now i'm looking for pieces that nobody else has that's what i do like about the thrift store when i was a kid it's so funny when i was a kid i hated the thrift store now i love the thrift store because i can find things good quality things it has to be a good thrift store but i can find good quality things that nobody else has and it can be timeless pieces. I don't want to just buy trash. I don't want to buy just anything either. So if you have a good eye, and it's going to take you some time, and I'm realizing that it's going to take me some time, shoes, clothes. Right now I'm trying to invest in uh, winter things. I'm just on this winter kick, and I just want to make sure I have good things for the winter time. So I just bought, I just ordered some boots, and guess what? Um, 100% leather boots um, that come up to probably like here on my knee or whatever so I'm waiting for those to come so I'll show you that I don't want to do like a massive haul and I know before I've done massive hauls where I bought uh, and this was recently so don't come for me but I'm checking myself um, I have bought things and I'm trying to be a little more conscious um, I don't I love to shop that's the problem but now I want to shop for the things that might be missing out of my wardrobe. So a couple of things that I do like that I do have is um, I think one thing that you should have is a good pair of quality jeans. So these jeans right here, these are from Fashion Nova, but um, they're not like the typical Fashion Nova jeans. These are like one of my favorite ones they got the rips here um and they're straight leg i think these are the mom jeans i don't remember what exactly what they're called but these are my favorite ones they're a little high-waisted and i was wondering i was thinking to myself these do feel like jean they're not like they don't have any give to it um it has this is 98 percent cotton and two percent spandex it's not made of any other material um and these are not gonna lose its shape so i'll insert like a clip of me trying them on but these is probably why i love these jeans so much and i've had them over a year probably two years now and i don't wear them that much because i don't want them to get ruined but um i've worn them and they still have their shape and it's like that real jean, that real material. Um, I have other jeans that, let me show you what I'm talking about. Other jeans, these ones, these little, little cheap little jeans right here. See how stretchy this is? This is probably 60%, probably 50% cotton, let's see. Oh, even worse, 39% <laughs> cotton, 32% polyester, 28% rayon, 1% spandex. So it's made up of all these other materials. And these are just like some cheap jeans that I bought. Um, I think, I don't know where I got, I got these from like this little cheap store in the mall. And cause I like this little, uh, the raw hem or like this, this, the edge of the pants like this the jeans so i had got these and when i say slipping and sliding in these jeans um they they fall off they they're just i've washed these a million times and they're loose they've been lost their shape like look at how stretchy stretchy these are they will fit my curves i like a stretch because i have curves but now i'm just starting to realize um just buy some high-waisted jeans and buy something that I have a little space for my butt, my hips, 
and maybe just get it tailored in the hip, um, in the waist area, something like that. But yeah, so these is probably I'm probably gonna purge these. Um, I don't know, but I did get rid of a lot of things. Um, I did I do have uh, some wool. I love blazers, so I invested in some wool blazers. I found like this uh, Ralph Lauren nice little blazer so i'll get that so you guys can see i just gotta find it so hold on let me see if i can find that really quick okay so i got a couple things and maybe i should just get my leather coat but it's so long I have to stand up for it. Look how gorgeous this is. Look how gorgeous this how gorgeous this is Look how pretty this 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 coat is y'all can't <sighs> yes <clears throat> so this is my Ralph Lauren um little wool uh, blazer so I just thought it was really cute and I'll just try it on for you real quick I actually have shorts on so it's not gonna look you know but you can see it from the top that it has like a little button here but this people is gonna keep me warm and it's in the brown family which I could appreciate which I love so this is just like an investment piece um also one thing that i was looking for was um a white white button-up shirt now this white button-up shirt is i got this thrifted me and my mom we went to the thrift store so i found this got in um, this is actually a men's shirt. I like, and oh, the Ralph Lauren blazer was a men's blazer. Uh, this is a size 14 and a half, 13. This is 96% cotton, 4% stretch, but it's just a nice, um, just a nice material. Still had the tag on here, so I don't know if you can see this. $89. For this shirt and i just like having the collar you know but i got this for probably like six dollars at the thrift store but i need like a good button-up shirt or whatever so yep that was a nice find um so if I had to start all over, I probably would just have a couple pairs of jeans, um, leather boots. I'm looking for cranberry leather croc boots with a little little bit of a um, thick heel. So if anybody knows where I can find that, please let me know because that's what I'm on the hunt for. I'm also on the hunt for a camel jacket, camel coat, I mean. But, you know, one thing at a time. So, and I also want, I'm also looking for a cardigan. So I'm looking for things that I don't have in my closet. And I'm just trying to be more conscious of the things that I don't have. So I do have a bunch of sweaters and things like that. So that's over in this other corner of my room, uh, my bedroom. So, yeah, I just... Um, right now I'm just being more conscious I'm trying to be more strategic almost 
with my money because I don't want to keep buying something over and over again. So I do have this other video that you can kind of check out. Uh, and it's about how to be more polished and um, look more put together. And I said invest in some quality pieces or whatever. But it doesn't have to cost you so much all the time. Like some things I will pay, you know, more for, especially if I can't find it or if I'm just like, I got to get it now. Got to get it. Got to get it. Got to get it. But now I'm just trying to just be a little bit more patient, um, find things uh, somewhere else, and try to find things for a reasonable price and not always break the bank. But I do sometimes don't want to buy, spend a lot on certain things. But now I'm starting to realize, starting to uh, just say to myself, like, just you're going to spend money regardless. And it's best to just probably spend um, on something that's going to last versus then something that looks cute for right now. And then I'm the type, I get attached to my pieces. I don't know about y'all, but I get attached, really attached to my clothes. And I love my clothes. I love it. To the point where months from now or next year, I want to wear what I bought. So if it looks crazy or if it doesn't fit right or it's faded or it's falling apart, peeling and stuff, then I'm mad. So now I'm just starting to yep, shift that brain. I wonder how many people, let me know like in the comments, how many people still just want to buy like stuff just because it's cheap. And also don't fall for like sales like at like uh, some store like that you probably don't really shop at where like it's cheaply made uh, clothes because not all the time. Like you can get a couple things and I, I will buy like some trend pieces, but I won't buy a lot of it because I don't want my closet filled with a bunch of trendy items that's not in season anymore. I want to buy things that I actually like that's going to last, sometimes simple and just have like an edgy coat or something like that. Um, but I want like classic timeless pieces. So that's what I'm going to hunt for. Um, and even shoes sometimes you know sometimes you can fall into a trendy shoe and you might a year from now might be like what the hell was i thinking about when i bought that damn shoe I need to hit somebody with this shoe so it's just like i don't want to always break my pockets um i want to just be happy with what i got months from now years from now and say you know what i still got this i might have spent more than what i might have wanted to but it's still serving me. It still looks nice. So that's I'm on, I'm on a mission for that. Um, I'm not coming for nobody. You do what makes you happy. That's also what I said in my other video. But for me, I'm making that conscious decision. And I just think that happens to do with growth. I'm getting older. Um, I want some nice things. I always like nice things. So just making that, that shift to buying more sustainable clothes. Um, still fashionable, but still looks nice. I feel like if you have something that fits your body nice and everything like that, then you're going to be good. But now I'm more conscious of the color. I want certain colors. Also, I want um, just material. I'm looking at, I'm checking for that. So I want certain material. I want certain color. And yeah, so I have like um, the staple coat. St staple statement coat that I bought and uh, it's all the way over there um I probably will insert a part of the video where I'm trying it on um I'll probably show a part where I try the jeans on too but yeah um this let me get this the coat so I can tell you this 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 story about this coat Okay, so that wraps up the video. Let me know if in the comments if you have more of 
fast fashion meaning trendy items and maybe not so well made pieces or slow fashion or you you want to buy more slow fashion so let me know what side of the coin you're on slow fashion or fast fashion let me know in the comments below and um also let me know i want to know i hope this is valuable actually uh to somebody out there um and i hope i wasn't babbling too much i usually don't talk too much in videos i try to make it more of a fashion video but you know gotta do what i gotta do um i do have somewhere i gotta go so um i hope this help somebody and hopefully just kind of ease your mind a little bit maybe you kind of got away and didn't think so much about other things and you was able to kind of just relax and just watch me just babble or whatever so um i love you guys um and if this is your first time here i hope to see you again so my name is jess channel is called just luxurious see you guys on the next one make sure you subscribe if you don't subscribe already all right see you Gotta go.